Yeah, what's wrong with the beer we got? I mean, the beer we got drank pretty good, don't it? Hello and welcome to your beer sex. I'm John, that's Andrew, that's Miguel Sanchez. Let's drink beer. What have we got first? Crazy mountain horseshoes and hand grenades. You know, I, I, I you know, get the reference there, but beer is nothing like either of those things. No. It's pretty much precision missile strike. This beer might be like that, though. Mm. <laughs> I mean, beer is really kind of hit and miss in general. Well, here's what they have to say about it. <laughs> Nothing beats a flowy trail better than a horseshoes and hand grenades at the end of a perfect ride. A flowy now, look, trail. I am not a horse riding type, but I, I, a flowy trail makes me think that there's a whole lot of shit all over it. Yeah. yeah. Like shit like fecal matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, just a lot of it. And it's like, watch out! Watch, and it rains a little bit. And it's like, watch out! The trail's flowy where there's like a river of shit. <laughs> Let's hope yeah. the beer doesn't taste like that. Oh. Grab your... Well, at least it's herbivorous shit. Yeah, it's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Grab your bike and head to Avon to start the smooth ascent up Saddle Ridge Trail. Again, I'm guessing... That is not a reference to the multi-layer marketing cosmetics distribution. I know. And probably some sort of <coughs> famous horse trail or something. Probably. Yeah. Once on Lee's way down the twisty trail and steep descent towards the town, we'll get you ready for the beer waiting for you at the bottom. Now, I think they're getting real specific here. I think they're talking about a particular place. Yeah. 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 yeah and, and I have no idea what that place is. So apparently this is a beer for horse enthusiasts. Or and, trail and riding enthusiasts. It assumes that you know what the fuck is going on. A plus. Thanks. Yep. It's beer time. Tis beer time. This is a rare instance. We haven't done beer time in a while. We well, missed. It's, I mean, a, yeah, we haven't done beer we, time in a while. This is a a we, rare instance of where we're shooting in the afternoon rather than the evening. Yeah, we missed um, last week's filming because I had the flu. So. Summer sickness is the worst, and now... There's nothing worse than having the flu and being sick while it's fucking hot. It kind of smells like a weak IPA. This is an ESB, is it not? It's an ESB. It smells like an IPA. And I'm getting a little bit of malt, but what's weird is I'm getting a little bit of vinegar. Dear, it doesn't smell awful, Malt though. vinegar, perhaps? Yeah. <laughs> horse horse, smell horse vinegar. Horse vinegar. Hmm. Some like bready crackery type shit. Mm. Now that's weird. No vinegar on the palate, but no, but the malt tastes fucking burnt. It does taste burnt. Yeah, like totally burnt. Like the last ESB we had. Yeah, maybe that's just an ESB thing. So remember, if you're smelling but burnt toast, all, it's the beer. You're not having a stroke. Not not all, not ESBs, all ESBs do that. Hashtag not all ESBs. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, Jack the Sipper. Now that's an ESB. That's a that's a fantastic ESB. Yeah, this is bad. Wasn't Jack the Sipper your like favorite beer of the season that it was in, Mike? Could have been. I think it was. That was I, a good fucking beer. Uh, the burnt malt ruins it for me, and that's saying something for a guy who is. Such I don't a think fan this is. Stout. I don't think this is bad. Okay. Yeah, like the burnt malt is not bugging me. I like the the grapefruity hops on top. Yeah. It all kind of works together to me. Yeah, I I like this. I'm just giving it another swish. No. <laughs> I imagine changes. that the grapefruit hops are not doing it any favors for you. No. no. I Actually, I think they're actually enhancing the burnt toast flavor for me. And that because makes that it, bitterness. Yeah. Yeah. I, the, I could see that. No, yeah. I, I like this. It's not... Not like the best it, beer in the world. I would say at least mediocre plus one for me. Yeah, the the hop. I mean, the malt is flawed, mm -hmm. but 
if you really like the hops that are in this, it yeah. will probably take it over. Yeah, the top. which is which is why yeah. I like it. And me too. Whereas if you don't like the hops in this, it's, you're just you're just in for a bad time. Yeah, it's not going to make you happy on any level. Yeah, no, I I like this. This is yep. We haven't had a lot of ESBs, and this is one. Now, I definitely think I like Jack the Sipper more, but Way in more. terms of like, you know, if I saw this, I'd be curious how this was on draft. Oh yeah, that could be really good. Yeah, where's the, where because this kind of has a nice creamy mouth feel. Imagine on draft. Got hmm. potential. Where are they from? Color Denver, Colorado. Yeah, crazy man. So where's the weed, man? Why is there no weed in it? Well, there's Early. at least has a hipster on the label. Deep. Oh yeah, this is definitely a very hipster beer label. Six percent alcohol by volume. Figures thirteen SRM. I don't know what that. What means. in the fuck is SRM? Short range missile. Yeah, IBUs. We know what those are. Thirty five. Yeah. Uh, Higgins. I Mech- say it doesn't suck. Yeah, it SR- doesn't suck. I played Mech Warrior. SRM means short range missile to me. Yeah. 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 Thirteen short range missiles in that thing. Or is oh, it, it doesn't have that many. Uh, no. 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 But. Yeah, doesn't suck. Doesn't suck. Sucks. So it's a split. Eh, whatever. It definitely doesn't deserve a unanimous. No. That's I'm with you. That's a flowed beer. That, that. Beer number D. Beer number two is Weihen Stefana and Sierra Nevada Braupacht. So is this like a mixed beer? It's a Perhaps we should cooperation read in, beer. It, it is, yes, it is a cooperation beer. Perhaps we, we should read and find out. Uh, well, usually they don't get to the point in these things, but we'll, we'll, nah, we'll, you we'll give try. it a go. You could try. This naturally cloudy amber Hefeweizen... Has a firm, creamy head and reveals fragrances of peach, apricot, and citrus on the nose. The initial impression on the palate is of a bouquet of aromas. Including subtle touches of banana, plus refreshing grapefruit from the American Chinook hops. The fruity peach and apricot notes from the Amarillo hops are balanced by the gentle sweetness of the caramel malt. The beer has a delicate tartness that melds into a harmonious mouthfeel. On the finish. So this beer is a beer, it, as Andrew said, is a cooperation beer. Interesting. A collaboration. A collaboration between Vahin Stefano and Sierra Nevada. Sierra Nevada. Yes. Interesting. I saw this at the store and raised my eyebrows. I have heard good things about it, but and I've had some of this. And I will keep my opinions to myself until you guys. Have your fill. You know what? I I saw a girl at the store whose eyebrows were permanently in the raised position. I wonder if it was because of this beer. They just saw this and were like, "Yeah, eyebrow raising." Yeah. Okay. All right. That is cloudy. Very cloudy. Little orangey. Ooh. Ooh. Typical of the style. Wow. Holy moly! That smells good. That's a good nose. Yes. Weedy. Apple like apple cider. Banana's definitely there. Yeah. It has something that's almost smoky. reminiscent. Yes, it's, it's smoky. It's mm-hmm. very reminiscent of the other smoked German beers that we've had. Yeah. I hope that won't make you sick, Mike. Well, mm. maybe I'll just have to bark into the camera lens. I do what I have to for mm. my art. <laughs> yeah, so here's the thing that happened. I don't know if we've mentioned this on camera, but after we had those smoked really good German beers that oh, we good. all liked. They were so good. Mike uh, came down with... A uh, norovirus or or food poisoning, something that made him real sick, and his brain says it was the beer, even though he knows intellectually it wasn't. And so, that's conditioned taste aversion for you. Sometimes your body can't really tell the difference. Yeah, I can't. That I happened can't to me with, ever eat chicken salad again. That happened to me with Jägermeister one time, but then later I found out it was just because it was Jägermeister. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's oh so true. <laughs> yeah, this All beer right. though, it smells amazing. And it tastes amazing. Yep. Wow. Slight tartness. Beautiful fucking wheat flavor. For all that people try to use terms like clean and fresh and stuff like that to describe things and it's nonsensical, this has that. This has a This slight, has a really crispy palate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Slight hoppy bitterness. 
It's like I can definitely taste those American hops, you know. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. it's definitely very very fresh and clean, like fresh fresh fruit. Mm-hmm. Now I'm getting like fresh oranges. Mm-hmm. I'm getting more like orange zest than orange. I can see both because of the bitterness mm-hmm. yeah. and the zest, but I can actually taste like a fresh orange meat sort of flavor. Mm. I'm kind of with you on that, Andrew. This is definitely one of the best, you know, wheat kind of summery this kind is, of beers I've had. This is yeah. one of the, if not, it's a, this is in my top three Hefeweizens. I mm-hmm. don't know if it, oh, what was that one that we had? New Glarus Bubbler. The new Glarus, I don't know if it's that good. No, it's not that good. But this is very, very good. But to me, it's the runner-up to that. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, yeah. It's, it's way the fuck up there. Oh, yeah. The hops are a little bit overbearing on the finish for me. Mm. Uh, this is really they're good grapefruity, beer. which you don't normally... Right. I mean, they're American hops, but you don't normally expect those that grapefruit flavor on a heffa. Yeah. No, it's... Yeah. It's definitely a, it's a pleasant su- It's a pleasant surprise, though, and I think it's oddly fitting. It kind of, it in a way, it is sort of like a combination of a really, really good Heffa and Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. Although it's more like, you know, 80-20 or even 90-10. It's I would not, say 90-10. Yeah, it's not like, it's not an even division by any means. It's definitely more Heffa, but then you kind of get that... Cheers to you. Definitely kind of get beer. that, like... SNPA, just like the hops by themselves. It's very thirst quenching too. It and is, it's, and it's got some spice to it, and it's not it like the typical clove you kind of expect. To me, it's almost like nutmeg. Yeah, I was gonna say like more like on like the nutmeg cinnamon end. Yeah, I the thing that I sort of wish would come through more on the palate because I get it definitely on the nose for sure is that mm-hmm. smokiness. I don't really get a yeah. whole lot of that smokiness. I mean, that'd be cool. I'd be that'd be an interesting, you know. It's, yeah, it's, dimension to the beer, but yeah, it would, it would it's, that would probably it, put it into low Earth orbit. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 there on the nose, but it just doesn't quite come through on the palate or on the finish. The Still, finish, the f- actually, that's a funny thing. The smokiness is dark, and the aroma is kind of dark. The palate brightens up, and then the finish with that that big punch of. You know, American hops at the end is yeah. really bright. Mm-hmm. It's nice. It's a very well thought out, very well done beer. This is a good drinking beer. Yes. Yeah, um, and it and it tastes like refined. It's like fancy pants. Yeah, and that's yeah. When I was talking about like, like the clean and fresh, mm-hmm. there's something about it. it's just it just this is really a clean. Pinkies out beer. Pinkies yeah, out. definitely. All the flavors are like in a virtual vacuum. There's just really not a lot of like fuckery going on no yeah you know it's amazingly yeah. well done yeah. I'm, I'm very glad i picked that up i was a little bit nervous because i went ahead i sprung for the six pack because i like hefeweizens i think that was like 12 bucks for a six pack okay worth it okay bougie but i know, know right <laughs> like fancy pants beers a lot of times are not good for you know being a daily drinker right. that this is that's what did you say the cost on that was 12 for six or Eh, that's not bad. It's I mean, I've made that's over that for four it. packs all the time. Yeah. So, yeah. Same. Yeah, Same. Easily yeah no. It. That's it's... better than a lot of the things have gotten, like $12, oh, yeah. and for like, $14 for the packs. weather. Like, imagine this, like, tail end of summer going into fall. Oh, yeah. God, yes. Yeah. Because it it's good for yeah. a hot weather beer, but there is something autumn about it, too. It is. That's generally what I associate. Like, like I just realized change of seasons is. going, like, Say like spring season or like summer transitioning into fall is what I really when I drink Hefeweizen is that generally the time of the year that I particularly enjoy. I know what the autumn. I know what the autumn thing is. Other than the uh, it tastes the like spice, s- tastes like squash. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it fucking does. <laughs> Foam time, I like good squash. Mm-hmm. I I wouldn't uh, I couldn't get you know I couldn't what? get specific about the type of squash. You know, it's sort squashy. of butternut squash. Butternut squash. is what I'm thinking. A little thinking bit, of, yeah. yeah. And then when you've also got that sort of uh, um, the spice thing going, squash, squash. Yeah. This is the squash beer. Yeah. So clearly, this by the is way, more squash beer sucks. Oh yeah, uh, brow packed. Well done. Does not suck. Does not suck. Brow packed. Very good beer. Yeah.
beer number, the last one. Hello, everyone. We're going to have Rouge Cooled Brew 2.0. Ooh. So not only is it not an alpha or a beta, we're in the second revision, second major revision of the final release. Yes. This is or the, as web browsers are now. This is expansion. Now, or, or, or the way they're incrementing versions on web browsers now, there was a minor security patch. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. So here's what they have to say about uh. it. Yeah. Rogue Cold Brew 2.0 continues the exploration of our two favorite things. Oh, I wonder what those will be. This time with a blonde ale. Now that's where I get skeptical. Yeah. Brewed with Stumpton Coffee Roasters Famous Cold Brew Coffee. Which is very good, by the way. No, I haven't had it, but I'll, I'll have to try it. This brew opens with a big hit of coffee aroma and flavor. As the nuances of the hops and malts come through the initial coffee blast, you'll find yourself in awe of this flavor combination well we'll see about that oh i think i'll be in awe honestly you know what <laughs> i still have a lot of that vine stefaner on my palate that's what the crackers, that's what are, the crackers for. are for son uh but see here's the thing i don't want it to go away oh. <laughs> and and i'm like i don't know if this beer is going to be as good do i really want to drink any of this and wash that away uh this is a so oh, this is a interesting. So this is a this is a cold brew coffee beer. I want you to notice how light it's that a, is because it's a blonde ale. It's got a funky ass. Wow, nose. it looks like a heifer, doesn't it? And I it mean, that does. does not look like a fucking blonde ale. That is no. really cloudy. Yeah, cloudy ass beer. Give give it a whiff, and it's got a bo nose. It does. Yeah, <laughs> but it's yeah. got the coffee there, and the coffee smells nice. It's coffee it's and like, like two things fighting against each other. Yeah. Oh, you can blow it off like a low-class beer, and then it oh, just yeah. smells like coffee. Yeah, straight coffee. Yeah, like I would believe if I were just smelling this in a in something where I didn't know where it was, Cold I would coffee. just be like, "Oh, this is some coffee." I mean, that is a strong coffee smell too. I mean, very that's like, strong. That's like putting your nose in a fresh ground bag of coffee. So I it guess is. we got to think about like uh, our, our smelling notes on the coffee then. Yeah. I mean, it's I'm trying to get about coffee. I'm trying to get a sense of like the kind of like the roast and whatnot. Better than Folgers, probably oh, yeah. something kind of mediumish. Yeah, it's punchy though. I mean, but the thing about it that amazes me is like the full spectrum of coffee is there. It's not like there's yeah. a few frequencies punching through the mix. I mean, yeah, it's no. fucking coffee, not like, like not like brewed coffee, like, like ground grounds. fucking yeah, coffee. Yeah, it's ground coffee is really what I'm getting on the nose, like freshly ground. Like the low ends there, the mid range, and the high end. Yeah. Well, if you put this under my nose, you might convince me you're putting a bag of coffee under my nose. And it, does it taste like a bag of coffee? <laughs> Have a sip. It tastes like a bag of dicks. This is a weird beer, not necessarily in a good way. It tastes like coffee with non dairy creamer in it. It tastes like non dairy creamer. And it's kind of like sour. Yeah. It yeah, sours it out. Mm-hmm. And it's really dry on the palate, which makes me think of powdered creamer even more. Mm-hmm. Like dry in a bad way. Not dry like, ooh, this is dry. Like dry versus sweet, like yeah. from the wine world. I mean dry like, Guess did I eat the junk? This is a bad beer. I gotta get another sip just because this is... It's bad, but I have to find a way to describe thing, how bad it the is. The funny thing is the finish... The finish isn't too bad. It goes back to coffee. And so it starts to trick my brain and go, man, you should have another sip. I'm like, yeah, man, that tastes pretty good. I'll, I'll just have another. And, and then, then it's like, oh, you asshole. I know what it's got on the palate that's so fucking off-putting, at least to me. It's, it tastes like soured tea. Yeah, agreed. It's so, either soured so, tea or So your kombucha else. swillers would probably love this. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, like, that's... That's what this beer really <laughs> reminds me of. It's like bad kombucha. Yeah. So the aroma is, the nose is 50-50. It's good coffee with a funk that you can blow away. The finish is good. It's just good coffee. The and the palate, palate is, is wretched. Trash. It's fucking awful. Yeah, it's yeah. Like sour tea. It's so fucking bad. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's just too bad too because, you know... It, I had. I mean, now I had this a while back. I just didn't really. I didn't really remember it. I remembered it was a weird beer. Either way, I couldn't really tell you. 
but now that I'm having it, I remember it's it's a very like hipstery sort of beer in yes. that it's especially yeah. it's like it's definitely the a beer thing. of the proletariat. Oh yeah, I changed my mind about the finish because the long finish once you've been waiting for a while, right. it turns into fucking uh, unsweetened uh, Kool Aid powder. I, I mean, to like me, it's very Kool Aid powder. To me, yeah. it's just it's just sour bad. tea because it's been so long since I took a sip, and now it's just like that Kool Aid powder thing it's sitting there. Yeah, Rogue, Cold Brew, Coffee, 2.0. You guys need another release. This shit sucks. Uh, And with that, it's time to end. Be sure to tune in next week. And uh, just remember that life is too short to be caught drinking shitty beer, such as this. Mm -hmm. Bye.